Community Radio. Welcome back, everyone. Time for us to go behind the headlines. And in the news, we told you of the new poll that came out. It surveyed 1,200 likely 2016 voters by both landline and mobile phone. And they found nearly two out of three people who would vote in 2016 would support a tax and regulate legalization scheme. 65% is what it came out to. It was 46% who marked strongly support. And the opposition's got 32% who oppose, 27% of those are strongly opposed. So there's always going to be one out of four just about that we're not going to turn. They're just going to hate marijuana. But we're doing really, really good. Now, keep in mind that these are generic proposals. Uh, Once something actually makes the ballot and people can look at it and nitpick the details, you tend to lose a little bit of support. But the... uh, The demographics on this are really, really good. I wanted to uh, highlight some of these. Uh, The greatest support, of course, came from young people aged 18 to 29. Going to expect that. That was 85% support. And people who smoke marijuana, 83% support. Now, admittedly, there's a lot of overlap in those two groups. But we're getting more than four out of five support for people under the age of 30 or people who smoke pot, otherwise known as people have experience with it, right? But... For the first time I can remember in covering these polls, we've got senior citizens supporting marijuana legalization. People over the age of 65 in California at 63%. That's more than three out of five senior citizens are supporting legalization. And non-pot smokers have a majority support at 52% in California. Another interesting uh development here in these polls, and we saw this in the Texas poll we just did recently too, that was 58% support, is a closing of the gender gap. Up through the 2000s and early 2010s, as I covered these polls, you could almost always bet that the support among women would be six to 10 points behind the support you find from men. In the Texas poll, there was one point difference. And now in this California poll, again, Just one point difference, 65% support among women, 66% support among men. How much of this owes to the recent stiletto stoner phenomenon, the the various appearances on TV shows, this, this coming out of moms for marijuana and such? I think the women have done amazing work, and I would love to hold them accountable for bringing these poll numbers up and showing that women can support marijuana legalization and still be good moms and good wives, good workers, good everything, good daughters. This is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Because once women support legalization, this game is over. The only demographic, I mean, they they looked at racial demographics. Support was like over 55%, 60% in all racial demographics. Every age demographic supported. Lowest age demographic to support it were people in their 40s. And that was still at like 52, 53%. The only demographic they could find that opposed this, Republicans. 47% support among Republicans, 50% opposition. So uh, we still got to do some work to convince Republicans that legalization is a Republican issue, is a conservative issue, if it's looked at the right way. I think it's one of the only issues in politics that is equally attractive to the left and the right for different reasons, but equally attractive. Now, they put together this panel. Uh, they're putting together a panel to study legalization. That was the other thing that they uh, they brought forth in this uh, press conference that the Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom was holding. And some of the people that are going to be on that panel are some people we know quite well. Uh, Allison Holcomb from the American Civil Liberties Union of Washington, who helped get legalization passed up there in Washington State. She's on the panel. Uh, Denver University law professor Sam Kamen, who's on the task force for Colorado, he's on the panel. But they've also got a couple of law professors on the panel. They've got Keith Humphreys, a former uh, a drug czar's office uh, uh, flunky, kind of a, another kind of Kevin Sabet. He's on the panel. A couple of uh, past presidents from the California Society of Addiction Medicine are on the panel. A sheriff from Santa Clara County, Sheriff Lori Smith, will be on this panel. So it's going to be interesting to see what comes out from this panel. And, of course, they also mentioned that there are two initiatives that are gathering signatures for the 2014 ballot, the Jack Herrer Initiative and the Open Source Initiative. We're going to talk about those in hour two because i got some opinions on 2014 in California. But right now, we've got important work to do. That's right. I got Brian the Red in here, and I got Bacon Dan in here, so we're definitely going to have to uh, have a, a special joint subcommittee meeting of the Safety Briefing Commission. Absolutely, and it's with some silver tip. Silver tip. Oh yes. Never met that fun 
funny repo man, a repo man. Have you ever met that funny repo man, a repo man? If he said he swam to China, he would sell you 